Well, you know, when you heard that letter being read from that transgender woman from outside of Washington, those are the kind of things that keep me going every day. I get those letters daily. And those letters, I can handle all the bigotry and all the grief in the world to know that I'm supporting people in a marginalized community. And it's not just about the transgender community, it's not just about the LGBT community, it's about all marginalized communities. All Phil has is no new taxes. It, I have a plan to grow Vermont's economy. You know, it's one thing to just fight over the scraps on the table, but we got to put more food on the table. And when you look at my fiber plan and the plan to build our communities with tax increment financing, that's the, Vermont needs a 20-year vision. Vermont needs a vision that goes beyond the candidate, beyond the governor. And that's what leaders should be doing. And, and I think Vermonters are waking up to the fact they're not getting out that out of their current leadership. I want to thank those Republicans who have stuck with me through thick and thin, and all those who have put aside partisanship to engage in the primary. I actually thought the results would be a lot closer than they were, uh, to be quite honest with you. I, I didn't know how it was going to go this morning.